I made a video a couple of days ago saying that we are just about to enter the most spiritually dangerous festival. And um, we got a lot of people talking. Uh, we're talking about Halloween, of course. We're talking about all the uh, dark forces and entities that people are worshipping at this time of year, calling in the goblins and the ghoulies and the demons and the vampires and all that kind of stuff and encouraging our kids to dress up as these evil entities and go out in the streets and, and, and make offerings of candy and, and stuff like that. It's all very dark. It's all very sinister. And um, yeah, I, it's, it's about a lot of conversations, a lot of questions. And one of the most common questions I was asked is, how do we protect ourselves from all this stuff? Well, obviously, we can't stop Halloween from happening. It's, it's, it's going on. You know, that, that's, that snowball is, is rolling down the hill. It would take a big shift in humanity to, you know, stop worshipping the devil on, on, on this night of the year. So uh, we then need to look at ourselves, look to ourselves and how we can you know, protect ourselves from, uh, from all these, these negative energies and, and entities. Anyone who's done any training with me in my uh, Shamanic Energy Healer training course will know uh, how we feel about protection. Uh, I'm not going to go into that in massive detail now, but I will say this, that actually calling out for protection is in many ways calling in things to protect ourselves from. And uh, so we don't want to be too defensive because um, you know, that's only going to cause us you know, more problems in the short and the long term. But we do need to be aware of energies that are around and how we can kind of create boundaries, create filters, and stop the unwanted energies coming to us and, and, and you know, just, just allow the good ones in, right? That's what we want to do. So there's a few things we could do in order to, uh, in order to do that. So the one thing is a meditation that I uh, is also part of my training course. I would like to share with you now with a little adaptation because uh, we, we're doing this for a very specific moment in time, i.e. Halloween. We wanted to protect ourselves from um, you know, all of these, all these, these, these entities that, that the rest of the, the country, the rest of the world is calling in. Um, so there's a few things that are going to be useful uh, as well as that meditation. You may want to make some affirmations or some declarations to spirit, to existence uh, about what is allowed and what is not in your reality. You are um, a you know, sovereign being in your own right and you have absolute right to, to say what is welcome in your field and your energy in your universe and what isn't. So what you consent to and what you do not consent to. So for example, you can declare that I do not consent to uh, these subtle uh, entities entering my home. I do not consent to them coming into my space, into my body, into my field. You know, they are not allowed. They're not permitted. You might want to acknowledge that you do not participate. I do not participate in these rituals of calling entities into my, this dimension. You may, of course, want to call in the beneficial, the benefic energies to uh, keep your space clean and clear. I call upon Great Spirit to bless my home, to bless this space, to bless my family, to keep us shielded and protected from all and any unwanted energies or entities. I call upon Mother Earth, Pachamama, to hold the space for us, to keep us safe from all and any unwanted beings and energies. You may want to call upon your guides, your protectors, your ancestors, all and any beings who are in absolute alignment, this is very important, who are absolute alignment with the divine creator and with divine mother earth to hold us in safety and to keep all and any unwanted energies away from us. I do say specifically that they must be in absolute alignment with the divine will because, you know, all of us have, as I said in the other video, you know, some dodgy uncles and, and, and dodgy ancestors and relatives that, you know, have passed in spirit that, you know, perhaps are not in alignment with the divine will who have their own, you know, negative agendas. And we, we, we don't want to welcome those in. So we're very, very specific with these kind of uh, affirmations and, and, and uh, declarations. Everything must be an absolute will of the divine creator and mother earth. This is, these things are very important. So as well as those commands, there are things that you can do around your home to keep that uh, energetically clean. You can burn different incenses, you can burn sage, you can burn frankincense, you can burn copal, you can burn uh, benzoin. That's a very effective one at keeping um, unwanted spirits and energies away from the home. It might be good to have little charcoal burners that you can, you can put around, uh, uh, particularly around the doorways and the windows of your property and, and keep them topped up with, with hot coals and with, with those, those incenses, you know, every now and then just, you know, you'll feel, you know, if you feel there's, the, oh, something doesn't feel right, there's a chill in the air, you know, pop some more benzoin on the, on the, on the, the, the burner and or put some more incense out and, and, you know, you can have some candles burning 
You can put some crystals around, set the intention with those crystals to create a shield of energy around your home to uh, uh, ward off all and any unwanted beings that, that might approach. Um, I like to wear white clothes. White has the energy of being very reflective, so, so energies can tend to bounce off. If you ever see me in ceremonies, uh, you'll always see that I'm wearing white clothes. Um, for that reason, it just, just, just reflects uh, any and uh, all unwanted energies off of my field. It's just like an extra layer. So these are all things that you can do that are very helpful and supportive for uh, you know, keeping your energetic space safe and clean and clear. So to the meditation. I'm going to invite you to sit down or stand up somewhere where you can be comfortable, close your eyes, take a few long, slow, deep breaths, breathing in through the nose, and letting go of the breath like a sigh. <sighs> Keep breathing like that, breathing in through the nose, letting go of the breath like a sigh. <sighs> I encourage you to sigh in this way because when you do, you'll notice how your body becomes more and more relaxed. We're letting go of any tension. We're letting go of any anxieties, any thoughts, any emotions. We're just, just letting everything go. It's a way of helping us to reset our mental sphere, our emotional sphere, our physical body, just to come back to a neutral, <sighs> calm, centered, grounded space. I invite you to see or imagine, or if you're not a visual person, just to know that behind your brow, inside your third eye center, in, inside your head, there is a sphere of platinum light shining brilliantly inside your head. This sphere of platinum light is the essence of who you are, the part of you who travels from one incarnation to the next, who journeys with you on your, on your spiritual adventures, your, your shamanic journeys, and your dreams in other realms. This is the eternal you. And I invite you to watch and witness as this aspect of yourself descends down through an invisible column of light in alignment with your spine, down past your throat chakra, past your higher heart and your heart chakras, past your solar plexus, descending down past your sacral chakra and leaving your physical body through the now open portal of your root chakra, heading straight down as this continuing column of light descends down to the center of the earth. Your sphere of platinum light travels through it. And at the center of the earth, there is a liquid crystalline sun. It is the very beating heart of our divine mother. Here in this place are found all the energies of the Divine Feminine. All the love, the kindness, the sweetness, the warmth, the generosity, the nurturing, the care. Anything energetically you can imagine as coming from the Divine Feminine. Anything energetically you could have possibly wished for from your own birthly Earth Mother, whether you received that or not. These energies are available for you here in this place. And you can breathe them in to your form of this sphere of platinum light. Keep breathing in this way. And on an inhalation, you can draw all these divine feminine energies up through all the earth, through your root chakra, and allow them to come to rest in your sacral chakra. It is found four finger widths below your belly button. And as you exhale, ah, your sacral chakra fills with these divine feminine energies. And as you keep breathing in this way, drawing more and more energy up from the center of the earth, filling your sacral chakra, it eventually feels full. When it is full, that energy begins to overflow like a liquid love light, which you could choose to see as an aquamarine color overflows flooding your physical body from the tips of your toes to the top of your crown and the tips of your fingers it's beautiful loving divine feminine energy as you keep breathing in this way your body eventually feels full 
and those energies begin to radiate out of every pore in your skin, filling your auric field above your head, all the way around, just below the ground where you're standing or where you're sitting. Every breath draws more energy from the center of the earth. The divine feminine energies flood your sacral chakra, your physical body, and your auric field. In doing so, all and any energies that are not in absolute alignment with the Divine Mother are simply breathed out of your field. They dissolve and dissipate on the edge of your auric field and are absorbed back into the earth to be taken, reused, recycled elsewhere to give life. See this happening in your mind's eye. Feel it happening in your body and around your body. I welcome you to affirm that this process continues with every breath of your life. Now, as this process continues, bringing our awareness back to our sacral chakra, and our sphere of platinum light, which begins to ascend, to rise up through the body, passing the solar plexus, passing the heart, the higher heart chakras, passing the throat, passing the third eye, and leaving the physical body through the open portal of the crown chakra, heading straight up, leaving the atmosphere of our planet, leaving the solar system, the galaxy, leaving the universe, and heading to the center of the multiverse, where at the heart of all existence, there is a ginormous sun, the consciousness of the divine masculine. Here in this place, in your form of a sphere of platinum light, you can rest a while in the center of this sun. All the energies of the divine masculine are found here. All the strength, the holding, the wisdom, the guidance, the knowing, the structure, the discipline, or any energy you can imagine as coming from the divine masculine is found here. Anything energetically you could ever have wished for from your own birthly Earth Father is found here too. Whether you receive those energies or not, at that time you can receive them now. Breathe them into your body, into your sphere of platinum light. And then, on an inhalation, drawing those energies down through all of this time and space, through your crown, into your heart. As you exhale, your heart fills with a divine energy which you could choose to see as an emerald green liquid love light. After breathing in this way for some time, your heart is full and it overflows like a cup being filled from the inside flooding your physical body from the tips of your toes to the top of your head and the tips of your fingers with this beautiful divine masculine energy that merges beautifully with the energy of the divine feminine. They take up the same space in absolute harmony. There's no competition between the divine masculine and feminine. They merge together in love. As you continue breathing in this way, when your body is full, the energies begin to radiate out through every pore in your skin, filling your auric field with these beautiful, strong, divine masculine energies. Thus, all and any energies that are not in absolute alignment with the divine masculine are simply breathed out of your field. That's any programs, any implants, any entities anything that is not in alignment with the will of the Creator, breathed out of your field. They dissolve and dissipate on the edge of your auric field and are just absorbed back into spirit to be taken, reused, recycled somewhere else to give benefit in the multiverse. I invite you to affirm that this process of breathing the divine masculine energy from source to your heart, through your body, through your field, continues with every breath of your life. You've just affirmed yourself, reaffirmed yourself to be in the 
meeting place between the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies that make, create, and maintain all of existence. As you breathe in this way, know that you are constantly cleansing your field, cleansing your energy, creating this current of energy that flows through from source, through your being, outwards, radiating those divine energies out through your field. This is a one-way flow of energy. It's a current, strong current like the, the tides of the ocean. If you've ever tried to swim across against the tide, it's very difficult. In the same way, any unwanted energies that come towards you, particularly on this Halloween night, are just washed away by the current, the divine flow through your being. In this way, you are safe, protected from all and any lower vibrational energies or entities. And you can expand this field to embrace your family. See that in your mind's eye, this energy field around your body, expanded, containing all the beings of your family. It doesn't matter where they are. They are still contained within your field. You can expand that field to contain your house or your land. You can hold a grid of light around your property, around your home, that just keeps away all and any unwanted energies. See that in your mind's eye. Like a geodesic dome made of crystals. No unwanted energies can penetrate through this space. You can repeat after me. I do not consent to these Halloween rituals. I do not consent to the calling in of lower vibrational entities into this reality. I do not participate in these rituals. I do not allow them to be in this space. I call in Great Spirit. I call in Mother Earth. I call in my power animals, my ancestors, and any spirits who are in absolute alignment with the divine will to hold a protection around this space and around these people. You can mention them by name if you wish. We are held in love and light and wisdom. We are held in love and light and wisdom. We are held in the love and light and wisdom that restores the balance to planet Earth. Oh. <sighs> Take a few deep breaths. <sighs> Wake up your body with your fingers and your toes, a little wiggle, have a stretch. <laughs> Give yourself a hug. Take off any any unwanted energies once more, just to be absolutely sure. Blessings for this night. Blessings for your life, for your heart. If you find this useful, please uh, feel free to share it with other people. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, ask your questions. I'm happy to uh, respond and uh, do the best I can to answer anything. And, uh, I'll see you again. Uh -huh.